These are both 50 millimeter lenses, but there's a big difference as you can see. We had the Nifty 50, which is a 50 millimeter lens by Canon. Now this is the Rokinon 50 millimeter Cine lens. What we're comparing today are these lenses and why, even though they're the same focal length, they're really important to have for different reasons. Now I'll cover the 50 millimeter lens first because it's more accessible to people. So this one is about 200 bucks at the time of recording and a lot of people buy this when they start first start photography. Now it's really good because a lot of people use it for portraits, it has a really good depth of field, it's about 1.8, and you get a lot of use out of it. And the coolest thing is it has autofocus, so if you're recording videos, if you're recording product shots, anything, you'll get a lot of use out of this, and you'll have a lot of great quality out of this. The only thing you can't do with this is you can't zoom in because it has this motor thing here. If you can see the small little lip where my finger is, this is where it runs on. So you can do that, focus on whatever you touch on your screen or whatever you have your camera set to. Now, that's a really good lens, it's really accessible, works really well, and you will get a lot of use of it, hence the name Nifty 50. Now, on another sense, this one is the 50mm Rokinon 1.5 Cine lens. And now when I say 1.5, it obviously has a better depth of field than this, much more shallow, so you get a lot more separation between clips or even if you take photos, photo stuff too. But there's a big difference between this and the Nifty 50. Now, one obviously is it's much bigger, and even if I take this off, which is the lens hood, it's still quite large, like you can see the comparison, and this one's slightly extended because this one's actually my busted one. So you can see, even if I line them up as best I can with the lens ends, it, there's a big difference. So, we have a lot of things on this that make it distinct. So we have two tracks here, one is to focus it so you can get your proper focus easily and get it really nicely. I don't know if you can see inside here on the camera, but when I do this on the topmost ring, it zooms in and out slightly. So you can do a little bit of movement, but you won't be able to do as much as something like a photography lens, which is made for more of that stuff. But you get a lot of this because it's a prime lens. So you get a lot of movement inside, but nothing on the outside. Now, one thing you can also see here is if you can look right here, you'll see the You'll see the aperture blades moving in and out and that's the smoothness of it. So on a photography lens, it's really important to note that when you're trying to do photos or video, you're gonna have more steps. So with doing video on the Nifty 50, you're gonna realize that there's some noise because it's auto-focusing, but also the main thing is, it's not gonna be a smooth transition between let's say 1.5 to like three. It'll be more you, you'll see it noticeably more and it'll still work, but you may not get the clean sharpness that you see in like movies, for example. Now, this one is a cine lens. So a cine lens will, a cine lens is basically the opposite of that where it's been made almost entirely for, for movies, for video and high-end stuff. Now, I should have mentioned this earlier, but the biggest difference is this has autofocus, this does not. This is completely manual and you really have to know what you're doing to get the best shot. Even though there's no autofocus, you'll have more control of if you focus on me or if you focus on the background, something like that, you'll have a lot better control. So these are the big main reasons to go from a cinema lens to a photography lens or vice versa, depending on what you're trying to do. Now, I recommend this one because it's about, I think about I between 500 and 700 dollars it's really good for the price the body's made of somewhat like a hard plastic kind of hard to you can kind of hear it it's uh well made and you get a lot of use out of it and the main thing is you get a really smooth motion through it so these are the few key differences between cinema lenses and photography lenses and why even though it seems irrelevant to get a cinema lens if you have photography lenses that can do just about the same thing there is a big difference and especially with your skill set you'll learn more by doing cinema lenses and you'll get a better quality out of it and not to mention i mean you get a 1.5 with this you get 1.8 with this so i mean the separation it may seem nominal but i mean you know in movies and things you'll see a difference especially if you know what to look for so i really hope you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it if you liked it please hit the like button down below because it really helps the algorithm and it really helps grow the channel if you like my videos and want to see more please hit the subscribe button as well because i want you to be along for the journey for all these videos that i'm making if you want to hit me up on any of my social media so instagram tiktok whatever i'll have the link in the description and somewhere on screen as well i really hope you enjoyed it got some value thanks for watching peace out bye